I like the I like Stairmaster. I love the Stairmaster because before you even start on it, it asks you your age, but it doesn't let you just enter any age. It says enter your age between 10 and 100. A <laughs> uh, hundred? Really? That's where you're stopping people? <laughs> I think if you make it to 100, you don't have to work out ever again, right? <laughs> I think if you die at 100, no one's going to be like, well, he was getting kind of chubby. No, he died of a hundred. It's a disease that affects almost everyone. In phenomenal shape he is, Lachlan Patterson, the one and only on the BT couch. And I gotta say a big round of applause and congratulations for oh, you. Thank you. Runner up, last comic standing. What an honor and what a trip you've had over the last year. Is that second, third place, runner up, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that, I mean, the, the notoriety behind it. Yeah. Your life must have changed in a major way going from doing comedy, doing that show, and now going on tour. Uh, yeah, I mean, People didn't come. To, people didn't come to the shows, and I, I mean, I had a core group of people that would come. Uh, people used to just come for comedy. Now they come for me, which is really neat. So, people would be like, "Ladies and gentlemen, your your headliner tonight's going to be Lachlan Patterson." You hear like, like you know, like crickets a, in the back, right? But now you can tell that they came to see me, which is really cool. Um, but you know, two hundred fifty thousand dollars would have been nice. That's okay. It's only money, Lachlan. Yeah. I mean, we were saying it's great because at least when I come home for Christmas, <laughs> no one's expecting anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's been uh, ups and downs throughout the year. Yeah. But, you know, when you look at the, uh, the value of Last Comic Standing, to, to uh, go on a journey like this with a reality show, that's going to be a big decision because you're an artist. Comedy is, is such a tough and serious game. Yeah. What went through your head when uh, your agent calls and says, hey, what do you think about the idea of auditioning? Not interested. And he's like, what else are you doing? And I was just walking dogs, so I was like, oh. Walking dogs like has his business. Yeah, you can make a lot of money walking dogs in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, and I was just, you know, I just, uh, I was tired of going to perform in front of audiences, really mediocre sized audiences and traveling to tiny little towns. I wanted to work the bigger cities and, 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 and get a, a larger audience. And I mean, it, it, it truly was a gift to be invited and to get to where I am now. I've always wanted to have a show where people were coming to see not just comedy, but me. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference for a comedian when they're coming to see you. So uh, I got my, that, I always wanted that and now I got it. And you get him on your side. We're looking at some of the clips from the show, some uh, great mentorship. Wanda Sykes has been a big part yeah. in your success. Talk about the role she's played and maybe uh, the valuable advice she's given you about this business. Um, yeah, she taught me how to perform in theaters, which is tr tr tremendously different than performing in front of a, a club audience where they'll pick up all the little subtleties. Uh, a theater, you got to just give them the greatest hits and you got to know to l end on a big laugh. And when people come see my show, a lot of times I have a lot of little subtleties that I really like. Yeah. But a lot of times when you're doing a theater, they're not, they're just too far away to understand that. And she taught me how you, you, you got to cut it here. And, you know, a lot of guidance too with just working on a, a program and, you know, strategies she taught me about. She's like, well, are you here to win? And I had to be remind myself, okay, quit being such a Canadian and <laughs> go out there and beat these guys. Yeah. And uh, maybe I, I had to, she helped me be a little bit more competitive. And, uh, and she's still, she's, we're still working together. You guys working on a show idea together? I maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, that's Hollywood talk now. I can't say anything. Taking meetings when you're in LA, making things happen. Yeah. And uh, you know, great mentorship with Russell Peters, Roseanne Barr, Keenan oh, Ivory yeah. Lance on that panel. But the great thing about this story, Lachlan, from Vancouver, what was the first comedy club you played in this city? And what do you remember about that? Oh no, I wish. <laughs> I was 19. I remember I was a, a girl broke up with me, and I I was I was all like sad and miserable. So I just I felt like doing something stupid, yeah. and I called the local comedy club and I said, Hey, I wanna I wanna get on your amateur night, and they're like, It's this Thursday, and I said, Great, and I'd never written a joke in my life, and I had four days to come up with a, a performance, and I invited everyone I knew and. 
I dressed up in long johns. Yeah. I was ridiculous. I had no idea what I was doing. That's pretty much how it is on amateur night, but look at you now, 55 City yeah. Tour under your belt. You're bringing the show to the Vancouver Playhouse. Saturday night, you can support this man, come out and see a local show. I'm going to try and bring the fiance and see your act because you are very good at Thanks, what you do. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to, I live here, so, or I'm from here, so I'm going to go uh, visit my family on Christmas. For right. sure. You do it. You enjoy the holidays. Thanks, buddy. All right. Lachlan Patterson on the BT Couch. you got to come back after the next tour. Thanks, buddy. And let us know what's going on.